Good morning friends. Another day and another lesson para sa ating mga kabataan. So today I will teach you how to add fractions. And before that, shout out muna sa ating mayor dito sa Lapu-Lapu City. Mayor Ahong Chan, shout out po sa iyo sir. At sa lahat ng mga kawani sa DepEd Lapu-Lapu City, headed by Dr. Wilfredo Bagulo, shout out po sa inyo ma'am. Shout out din po kay Attorney Rico Amores at kay Attorney uh, Rocky Malaki the third from Davao City. And shout out sa lahat ng mga pupils at parents sa Babaguan Elementary School. First, I would like to uh, explain what is the meaning of fractions. So according to uh, some books, fractions is a part of a whole. So ito yung kanyang meaning. And I have here an example. So this is an example of a fraction. Okay, this is one half. So meron siyang parts. So yung part na nasa taas, yung number sa taas, uh, ito ay tinatawag na numerator. At itong nasa baba, Ito yung tinatawag na denominator. Let's go now to our main lesson. So our main lesson for today is how to add fractions or adding of fractions. So I have here example number one. Okay. So let's read the following fractions to be added. Three tenths plus four tenths. As you can observe, they have same denominator. So meron siyang parehong denominator which is tenths no? so 3 tenths plus 4 tenths so same ang kanilang denominator 10 so do not add the same denominator all you have to do is just copy so kung the same denominator just copy so 10 so you only add you only add the numerator so ito lang sa, ba, sa taas ang i-add the numerator so 3 plus 4 equals 7. So the answer here is 7 tenths. Okay, example number 2. 2 eighths plus 1 eighths. So again, the same step. If they have the same denominator, like, like this, just copy the same denominator, which is 8. So you will only add the numerators. So, ito yun. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, the answer here is 3 eighths. Okay, sample number 3. 1 fifths plus 2 fifths. So, again, they have the same denominator, 5. So, do not add the same denominator, just copy. What is the same denominator? It is 5. So, you will only add the numerators. 1 plus 2 equals 3. So the answer here is 3 fifths. Now, example number 4. 2 fifths plus 1 fourth. Now, take note. So as you can see here, in this example, they have now different denominators. So magkaiba na ang kanilang denominators. Yung una, ang denominator niya is 5. Yung second fraction, ang denominator is 4. So, magkaiba na. So, dito, hindi natin pwede i-copy ito. So, in this case, kung dissimilar ang kanilang denominators, so, maghanap na tayo ng kanilang LCD. So, hanapin natin ang LCD. So, ano yung LCD? Ito yung tinatawag na least common denominator. So, how to do that? So, we must rewrite this in this form. 2 fifths plus 1 over 4, 1 fourth. Okay. Now, so, pansinin mo, yung unang denominator is 5 at yung isa is 4. So, ilista natin mo na dito. Yung 5 at saka yung 4. So, again, hanapin natin yung kanilang LCD. LCD, least common denominator. So, pa paano ba hanapin or how to find the least common denominators of 5 and 4? It is very simple. So, mag mga bata, makinig kayo mabuti. So, okay, 4 and 5. Okay, una tayo sa 5. So, multiples of 5. So, what are the multi multiples of 5? Okay, 5 times 1 equals 5. 5 times 2 equals 10. 
5 times 3, 15. So, counting counting by 5. So, 5, 10, 15. Sunod, 20, 25, then 30. Okay, stop po na dyan. So, dito naman tayo sa baba. Counting by 4. 4 times 1, 4 times, okay. Counting by 4. So, 4, 4, sunod, 8. Next, 12. Multiple of 4, 4, 8, 12. Next is 16. Then, 20. So, as you can see, so these are the multiples of 5, these are the multiples of 4. Meron ng unang mga numbers na nagkapareha. Nasaan dyan? The first numbers na nagkapareha, okay, ito, yung 20. So, meaning, 20 ay ang kanilang LCD or kanilang less common denominator. So, nakuha na. So, ang LCD pala ng 5 at saka 4 ay 20. So, how you'll do that? Okay. Put another line here. Okay. Alignment. Then, another line here. Fraction line. So, ilagay mo dito yung LCD dyan. At dito ni sa isa. Na, makinig mabuti. Hindi pa tayo tapos. So, what will you do next? Okay. You will divide the LCD to the denominator. Okay. Una tayo sa dito the first sa taas so 20 uh, going here going to the left 20 divided by 4 equals oh no 20 divided by 5 sorry so 20 divided by 5 equals 4 so again 20 divided by 5 equals 4 next step is to multiply this sa kanyang numerator so 4 times 2 so, 4 times 2 equals 8. Dito mo ilagay ang 8. Diyan. Okay, the same uh, step here. So, divide this one. So, 20 divided by 4 equals 5. So, again, we will multiply this by the numerator. So, 5 times 1 equals 5. Okay, now, we have now, okay, uh, i-write po dito, ha? So, we have now 8, 20, Dito yung isa is 5 over 5 over 20. So, ito yun. So, add. Okay. So, we are now on addition. So, add. So, dito. Okay. They have now the same denominator which is 20. So, anong gagawin sa same denominator? Just, just copy. Okay. Just copy the same denominator. Erase na natin to. So, just copy the same denominator 20. So, anong i-add natin? Ito lang mga numerators. So, 8 at saka 5. I-add natin 8 plus 5 equals 13. So, the answer here is 13 over 20. Okay, fifth example. Again, mga bata, listen carefully. So, 3 fourths plus 1 third. Again, they have different denominators. Okay, yung una, 3 fourths. Number 4 ang kanyang denominator. Dito naman 1 third, so 3 ang kanyang denominator. Again, they have uh, different denominator. Again, you will look for the, ano yun? L, LCD, or the least common denominator. So, the same step kanina, so you will list down the two denominators, 4 at saka 3. So, you will get the or list down the multiples of 4. So, 4 times 1 plus 4 times 2, 8. Next, 4, 8. Next is 12. Okay, 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 5, 20. 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, stop muna. Dito muna sa 3. So, counting by 3 or list down the multiples of 3. So, 3, 6, 9, then 12. So, we have now uh, numbers na nagkapareho. 12. So, ito na yung tinatawag na LCD. So, 12 ang kanilang less common denominator. So, ang unang magkapareho, ito yung least common denominator. So, lista natin dito yung 12. Okay. Okay. Put, uh, put 
another line here and here. So alignment, no? So 12, 12. Okay. So remember the step. So anong gagawin dito? So you will divide. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Then multiply this by the numerator. So 3, 3 times 3 equals 9. Then same step dito, divide. 12 divided by 4 equals, no, 12 divided by 3, sorry. 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4. So 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, now, so, erase na natin to. Okay, so, you, we have now same uh, denominators, which is 12. So, what will you do with the same denominator, 12? So, just copy. Okay, so, what you will add is only the numerators, no? So, 9... At saka 4, he adds. So, 9 plus 4 equals 13. So, the answer is, is 13 over 12. 13 over 12. But, hindi pa ito yung final answer. Kasi, it, ito yung tinatawag na, ito yung tinatawag na improper fraction. So, bakit ito tinatawag na improper fraction? Kasi, mas malaki yung numerator kaysa denominator. So, i-change pa natin ito sa uh, mixed number. So, changing of mixed number sa next vid mga videos na natin yan i-discuss. So, dito muna tayo sa adding of fractions ngayon. Hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga bata. So, again, kung wala pa kayo nagka-subscribe sa aking channel, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga coming mga video. So, in the next video, I will discuss uh, how to subtract how to subtract, how to multiply, and how to divide fractions. Changing of proper fra improper fractions into mixed numbers and, and iba pa. So, goodbye.